Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over how to create subscription emails on the Flex MLS system. So the first and easiest way to start this is going to be by basing it off of a quick search for what your client's looking for. And once you're in the quick search, if you're not already aware, if you need to change the property type on the upper left side, currently I'm looking at one residential as the uh, quick search template. If I need to change it to a different property type, I would just drop this down and subsequently choose the correct property type. From there, you're going to narrow it down further to what your client's looking for. So say, for, hypothetically, it's single family, Monmouth, within Wall Township. And they're looking for at least four bedrooms. And in this case, say someone is looking for like two and a half bath at least, you would not want to use two full, one half bath because it's ultimately going to eliminate any properties that have three full bathrooms. So what you'd want to use is this feature right here that says total bath. When you click on total bath, you're going to actually input what the fields are that the listing agents would use. So for a two and a half bath unit, it's actually going to be 2.1 because it's pulling two from the input for the full bath and one from the input for the half bath. Okay. As we go further down, we can narrow this down if we need to. Um, say we are looking for properties that have a bedroom on the first floor. Down here where it says add a field to the search, I could click there and it'll show me every available input field when entering a listing. But you'll see directly beneath where I just clicked or next to where I clicked, I can actually type in the field I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for bedroom, for example, I would type in bedroom, and I'm looking for properties that have a bedroom on the first floor. Now, just a side note, if I choose this one right here for bedroom level, this is going to be just a basic bedroom. If you wanted a master bedroom, you would go down to master bedroom and choose that. So if I'm just looking for a basic bedroom, I would go to one and choose that from the input. And just based on that, I eliminated a lot of listings. So from here to save this search so my client can get automatic notifications, I would then go to save at the top and the first option for save search. Once I'm here, I'm going to type in a search name. So keep in mind, whatever you type in for your search name, your client will also see. So in this case, I'm just going to name it John Doe Wall. And in my personal experience, I don't use the search description because if your client were to contact you and modify this, and maybe they didn't want just a four bedroom, two and a half, maybe they wanted a five bedroom property, but you already filled in a search description saying four bedroom, you'd have to ultimately take an extra step and modify the search description, even though the search itself was, you know, updated. So I just keep search description blank. Beneath it, you'll have the option for contact, none, new, or existing. If it's someone brand new for your contact management, you'd go to new and enter an email address and an, um, a name, excuse me. And if it's someone already existing, you'd go to existing and choose them from your list. From there, you would then go to save and add subscription to connect the search to the client, of course, and set the schedule as far as how often and who will receive the updates of the new listings. So up at the top, it's pretty much all set up for me. So it'll have subscription followed by the subscription name. Send notification of new listings to you. The sender is checked off, meaning you, the agent, you'll get a private copy with the listing agency's information and showing instructions. The selected contact, in this case, John Doe, he is going to get a customer friendly copy. Nothing as far as who the listing agency is. Beneath it is send me an email when a contact clicks the link. That's pretty much a red receipt. And this fourth option is unchecked because if I were to check it, nothing would go to my client. Everything would ultimately end up in my inbox for me to approve. If you're ever um, in a pickle, for example, and you need to get a um, reminder of what this is, if you hover over the little question mark, it'll say preview mode allows you to approve listings before they're emailed to clients. As we go further down, we have the schedule. Weekly is the default. Weekly is, in fact, daily, meaning if there's like three new listings tomorrow, they get one email around like eight o'clock and it'll contain all those three listings. Monthly is just once a month and ASAP is as soon as they come on the market. As we go further down, we have the email content 
And the email content, keep in mind, is not your initial email. This is going to be sent each and every time new listings are sent to your client. So here, for example, I just have a subject, listings from Lauren, and a nice little email. Here are the latest listings in the market. Please review and let me know if you would like to schedule an appointment. From there, all I would do is hit save on the bottom right. And now at this point, it's going to say the search and subscription have been saved. Would you like to email these listings? Now keep in mind, it's a subscription email. So when this pop-up comes up, it's referring to the number of results that are currently on the market. So do you want to email these 21 listings? Do you want to choose from these 21 listings or not send now? That's ultimately your decision, but going forward, your client will get auto notifications of the new listings. Hope this helps.